Hey, Greg, congratulations on the win. Uh, what did the, no, just give us your general thoughts on the, on, on the game and, and maybe the seven minutes of stop and shine. Uh, well, I thought we started excellent, and for the first 20 minutes or so, I thought uh, we were playing as well as we played all season. I thought just the, the ball was moving fast, we were in good spots, uh, you know, I don't think they had any great solutions for us. We get the goal, uh, I think things are almost going in a way too easy. We start getting, in my opinion, a little bit arrogant and a little bit, as I said to the guys at halftime, we get a little bit cocky because we're, we're able to really play and they couldn't get anything going. And I could feel their energy sapping out of them. And, and then we start forcing things. We start turning over. We start jamming it to the right side. We start losing balls in between our lines and we start build, giving them momentum and they get a goal. And then we, we compound it with a goal immediately off of it. So <clears throat> next thing you know, in a game where the opposition has probably had the ball for about a minute total, they, they're up 2-1. And so it's just a different, different energy in the, on the field. So, uh, you know, we get to halftime, just a couple adjustments uh, by bringing Marky on and just shifting some things around. And we get ourselves back on top of the game. And as you know, the last seven minutes are just you're just dealing with things that are being whipped in front of the goal, and and we we made the decision just to try to overload and protect the face of the goal because you know guys like uh, Espinoza, he, he can get a cross out of nothing, and he just whips things in that are really dirty, and you just want to you want to try to get density and get guys in front of the goal who can help uh, protect the goal, and uh, you know we stayed resilient and and managed out the game, and it's a huge win. Lucas's run at the end just to buy us a little bit of time was massive. Uh, Diego had a little bit of a run at the end that was massive. It just took a little bit of time off of uh, off of the defending effort and gave those guys a little bit of a chance to catch their breath and see see things out. So those those just couple little plays were just huge for us down the stretch. What does this win say, especially coming off the win against Chicago and maybe a little momentum now and then? Can you give us updates on on Ricky and, and Douglas? Yeah, I mean it's a huge win for us. Again, I, I thought. The game had its ebbs and flows for sure, but I thought we played, like I said, fantastic early. We went through a tough stretch. We had to come back from it on the road. We did, um, and then we saw we grinded and saw some things uh, through there at the end. So we've been on a great stretch. I mean, you take away the 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 tournament, which is the tournament. Uh, we've been on a really good stretch as a group, and uh, you know we continue to show uh, the battle and the fight that, that we're going to need down the stretch and we also show some really good soccer inside of it that, that is important as well because that's you know that's what our team is built to do but we showed a little bit of the toughness and the grittiness at the end uh, to see this one out so again it's it's tough because we're going to turn around in a couple days and you gotta you gotta lace them up and do it again and uh, that's this time of year and this the one on Saturday is going to be you know Every bit is important or more important than the one tonight. So we would take the energy that we get from this one and we'll turn it around Saturday. As far as the injuries, uh, Douglas was a dislocated shoulder. Uh, they got it back in place and we'll see, we'll see how he's doing uh, as they reassess over the next couple of days and see where that goes. I'm, I'm not just quite sure what the, the next steps are there. Uh, Ricky's okay. He, he, was, um, he was feeling something in his quad. I don't think it was uh, specifically muscular pull or tear or, any, or anything along those lines. I think it, uh, it was something else. I'm not exactly sure, but, uh, but he'll, he's okay. He'll turn it around. Thanks, Greg. Yep. All right, next we'll go to Alex. Hey, Greg, uh, congrats on the win. Just wanted to, you know, for you to comment on Tyler Boyd. He has uh, four goals and one assist in the last, last five MLS games. What have you seen in him that's led him to be in this form at the moment? Yeah, I, I think... <clears throat> You know, Tyler is our, is one of our guys who is a consistent runner. He is looking to run through the lines. He's looking to uh, to put himself in dangerous positions because he's he's active and he's he's not always looking for the ball at his feet. He'll look at it on the run. And we have so many good passers in addition to uh, you know and, and good soccer players that Ty Ty running gives himself the opportunity and give those gives those guys a target that they can they can play to. In addition to that, he, he can do some. He can do the one-on-one -on -one stuff. He can take somebody on. He can get his own shot. He can, you know, cut inside or get to the end line. He can do some different things. But he's, he's active. Uh, and I've, I keep saying to our guys, if you're active for our ball carriers, then you're going to get chances. You're going to get opportunities to score because we have, 
we have guys who can really set up things. We just want more guys to want to get themselves in those positions to finish things, and, and we'll see more things hit the back of the net. But we've been on a good run of form in terms of scoring, and we need to keep that, keep that momentum up. Uh, yeah, and maybe if you could comment on Dan Jovalich's game overall and I guess the importance of him getting on the score sheet today uh, for the first time in uh, quite some time. Yeah, that, that was the most important thing of the day for Dan. He, he got on the scoreboard, and I know he's been super stressed out about not – not providing uh, you know goals and it doesn't matter how it comes for for guys who are supposed to score goals just hitting the net one time and and that emotion is important uh, I thought that was the best the best part of the day for him I mean I think you know he gave us some activity from time to time I thought he had a hard time sometimes when we were playing into him as a target and trying to link things up and trying to bring things in uh, was tough for him today uh, but I think you know as he adjusted and started to make some more vertical runs then I think things started to open up his run creates some space for Ricky who comes inside and finishes that one because he went he went vertical and through the lines which backed up their back line which opened up the space for Ricky to to drive and get a shot off of off so instead of sometimes where he wants to show and always get a touch between the lines I want him to continue to look for that run between the center backs or into the depth and stretch because when Ricky gets turned and he gets past the first guy he's so hard to keep up with and uh, you can open up some space and, and be the you know, the recipient of some passes from Ricky as well. So, anyways, getting the goal was just was huge for him. I know emotionally because he's been he's been grinding for a goal for a while. Thank you, Eric. Safe travels back. Thanks. Uh, next, we'll go to Sydney Hunt. You were congrats on the win. Uh, I'm sure you've been kind of monitoring Houston's progress throughout the season and really have turned out to be one of the surprises of the league thus far. Um, Going back to Carson and having them coming in to your place, what's kind of the approach? Again, what's been a really tough Houston team? Yeah, I mean, we look, we want to assess our group just to see where our guys are at and make the best choice of teams that we feel that can get out and win the game. Just, uh, you know, some bumps and bruises. want to see who can turn around and be ready to go. But, um, you know, we're going to stick to us. They've, they've, been, uh, they've been a very good team. They've found form. I think they're... You know they're good in a lot of different ways. They're good when they sit low and play you on the counter. They're pretty good when they can when they have time on the ball and they can build. They find good spots. I think they're uh, they're you know in sync with some of their movements and their positional play and and those things like that. They they you know they look like a pretty well oiled machine right now to be honest. And and so we've got to. You know, we've got to find our ways to disrupt them, to try to, to keep possession and maintain uh, the ball and move them around and make them defend for large stretches. And when we make them defend, we've got to finish attacks. And if we lose balls, they've got to be higher up the field. They can't be right in front of our back line uh, because they do have guys who can turn and, and attack you quickly in transition. Um, they'll try to overload, you know, especially on that right side, Griffin Dorsey, who used to play for us in Toronto. He's been bombing up and down the right side, you know, and... and uh, he's had a good run of form, so you know they, they're they're. I'm sure they're confident with the, the way they've been getting results and how they've been uh, doing things. Uh, we are likewise, and so you know, I think it's going to be a really how we manage the ball on the day is going to be really important, and and make sure that uh, we don't give up things um, out of our possessions that we don't want to. And and I think if we can do that, then we can you know we can uh, put ourselves in a good position to win the game. And then, you know, this season you know, obviously has been, you know, several low points for you all. Um, from a force standpoint at times, you losing Javi for the year. Um, now having one back-to-back -back matches, being five points back of ninth, having a couple matches in hand over the teams in front of you, you know, what does this do for the belief of the club as you head into this final stretch here? Look, I think we're I think we're in a good spot. We know based off the start and the challenges we had early that we've got a little hole to dig ourselves out of. That's that's uh, clear. Uh, but I, I think we found our foundation to build off of you know a little while ago, and and I think in the league now we are we've had one loss in like our last nine or ten, something like that. So um, I think again we found a, a nice foundation for our group. We've added some great players in in this window to increase our depth and. Uh, and the quality of our group. And so we're, we're ready for this final stretch. Again, getting a couple results uh, as, as we have since we've come back from uh, uh, from the, the tournament. Um, it's been nice. It's been nice to build some momentum. We you know we didn't play a game for like four weeks. So to get two results coming off of a long 
break like that uh, is is positive. And now we have a really tough game this weekend that we've got to re quickly celebrate this and refocus on uh, approaching uh, Houston with a with a smart plan and and a really disciplined effort. All right, that's it for me. Thanks, Brad. Congrats on the win again. Thank you. And our, our last question will go to Christian Bryce. Good evening, Greg. Congratulations on winning the derby. Thank you. Uh, what's Caligari behavior after the one goal important for the victory? He didn't get upset after the mistake. Yeah, he, he uh, you know, I think he had a he had a solid game overall, and obviously made some some big defensive plays down the stretch. And uh, you know, the first goal that we take off the corner kick, I think he's getting water on the side, and the ball gets put in play, and so he's a little late stepping out to his responsibility. Uh, and because of that, he's not in the great, great, the best position to deal with that ball that's whipped in in front of the goal. He tries to make a play on it, and and that's a like you can't fault anyone. And sometimes on that, other than I wish he wouldn't have got water when the ball was put in play, because he probably would have been in a better position to to deal with the situation. But he got himself in a little bit of a bind there. Uh, so, and, and the second goal, you know, uh, I haven't said it yet, but this field is like ice skating. It's crazy out there. Guys are slipping all over the place and, uh, you know, both teams were slipping. And the second goal, I think he's trying to get inside of the guy. He kind of slips as he's trying to get himself into that position to deal with that play. Um, you know, that was off of a transition we shouldn't have gotten and, and he slips and he's a little bit involved in it. but. Uh, all in all, he's he's a smart player, and I think he resettled himself in and had a great second half, and again helped us to see out a, an important three points. Thanks, Greg. Thank you. All right, thanks for your time, Greg. All right, thanks, everyone.